Hello. Hello. All right, so we have switch and click my contender. She is known as the keyboard lady or also known as the scream whisperer. And today she's here to challenge me to build an anime keyboard, I think. So let's see what happens. Lewis. Yes. I challenge you to an anime keyboard challenge. All right, all right, all right. I see you've done your Demon Slayer keyboard. It looks pretty sick, but we got to see who does the better one now, I guess. Yeah, I see that we both did Demon Slayer, but this time we're gonna do it at the same time so that people can vote. And I think the loser has to publicly announce that the other is a better keyboard builder. All right, all right, some stakes. Very yep, good stakes. some stakes. No money though, because we're poor. Yeah. It's not, it's yeah. not, not, not worth it. All right, uh, what anime shall we do? There's... Should we do SpongeBob? Wait, what? SpongeBob, <laughs> not anime. Should we do Avatar? Uh, there's Naruto. Try, try some Attack on Titan, maybe. Ooh, I really like that. Season four, part two is coming out soon. Yeah, in December, it'll be perfect. Yeah. Let's do Attack on Titan. All right, yeah. let's do it. So let's just jump right into building the keyboard. I have this really nice test map from Antidote Studio. I actually have no idea what Switch and Click is going to do. So we're just going to try to do our best and beat Lewis, her. you're going down. I've had so much practice making a bunch of custom keyboards and I'm also not colorblind. So oh <laughs> got an advantage. Oh my god, that hit deep, yo. <laughs> We're gonna start off with a GK61 wood kit. This is from Banggood. Thank you, Banggood, for sending this over. I actually haven't worked with GK61 in a really long time, and the plate has changed, and the spacebar as well. You can have split spacebar now, so let's just talk more about that. The plate for the spacebar is actually separated from the main keyboard, so you can swap out for split spacebar or normal spacebar. Aside from that, everything else remained the same, north facing switches, hot swappable PCB, aluminum plate and plate mounted stabilizers. And to be honest, I actually really like this new plate design. We're gonna disassemble the keyboard so that I can start working on some artwork. Internally, the keyboard is still the same, there's no foam included, no case foam, no plate foam. So we're gonna start off with our wooden case. I'm going to be attempting to draw and paint the attack and armor titan. And while I was filming this, somehow the footage got corrupted, so I'm just gonna show you roughly what I did. Basically, this wooden case is a little too dark if I wanted to do skin colors for the titans, so I painted it white. So I got my white paint, drew about a white circle, and then left it in the sun. About an hour later, the paint was dry, so I could start to sketch out my attack titan. I was actually contemplating between drawing the normal anime look or some chibi version, but the normal anime look was really hard, so I just went to chibi versions for both attack titan and armor titan. I took about 2 hours to do these sketches and they looked pretty good in my opinion. Next up, I had to add some colour, so I painted the skin colours, added the accents, added the hair colours, everything. And this time around, I actually had proper skin colour, not like the previous accident we had. So everything looking good, this is colours looking really nice and clean, so we're just gonna trace it out with a black marker to make it stand out even more. To finalise everything, I added contrasting colours to make it pop even more than it already is, and started working on the stabilisers. Yep, we are done with the stabilizers, let's just install them and put them onto the PCB. Now we can work on switches. I use Fika Holy Pandas. These are not real, these are fake Holy Pandas. If you want to know the difference, I'll be linking Squashy Boy's video between fake and real Holy Pandas. I think the color schemes of these switches actually really match the Attack on Titan theme really well. They have the skin color, you know, the beige, it matches really well, so extra points for me. Loop them with Crytox 205 grade 0 so they don't sound very bad. And now that we're done with all the internals, we can start to put everything together. I full modded the case, didn't tape mod this time around, surprisingly, and went with a normal spacebar because I have keycaps that would really make it pop.
next up is the keycaps. This is the best part of the build and I'm pretty sure this is why I might win this whole thing. This is by Antidote Studio. They are a local company that is in Singapore and they actually make their own keycaps. This is called the Gigantic Keycap Set and I got number 2. So thank you Antidote Studio for sending them over. I'll be linking them down in the description. So yeah, you guys get the idea now. These are Attack on Titan themed keycaps. I'm pretty sure you can't find them anywhere else. So let's just enjoy them. And there we have it, this is how I built an attack on Titan keyboard. Uh, you finish your keyboard? Yeah. I finish my keyboard too. I can send you a sound test. We're doing it based on sound? <laughs> I think we're doing it based on looks. We're doing my it based on... Like shit. <laughs> we're serious? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're doing it based on looks. So should we do a countdown and then show it to each other? Okay, okay. Three, two, one! Oh wow, we did it so differently. I know, ours are completely different colors. I have I have the back side too. You I'm ready to see side, the yeah. back side? Okay, three, uh, three two, 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 one. one. Oh. oh, yours is oh, nice. Oh, yours is nice too. Oh, did you did you primer it? Or the... Nope. Oh wait, do you, let me show you one more thing that they sent me with the keycaps. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, we're ready. <laughs> Oh, that's so cool! <laughs> I think that's an instant win. Yeah, I don't know. I think I think you win this one. <laughs> Alright, we, we need to let the audience decide. We do have to let the audience decide. So we have a poll up on Twitter and YouTube community for about a day. So our competition is done, and all of the votes are tallied up on Twitter and on YouTube. And... Uh, Lewis got 300 votes, whereas I only got 285 votes. So it was a oh. super close, super close. But this in really the end, close. you did win. And people loved the color of your keyboard. And I have to announce that Lewis is the better keyboard builder. All right, I would like to give my speech. So uh, I would like to thank my family. I would like to thank Antidote Studio for sending over the keycaps. I would like to thank the keyboard, wooden keyboard from Banggood. I would like to thank myself for lubing the switches one by one and painting the freaking armor and air attack titan. So yeah. Thank you for all those who voted for me. Alright, I've come to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Switch and Click will be posting her perspective of herself making the Attack on Titan keyboard really soon. So stay tuned for that. And thank you so much Switch and Click for making this collaboration happening. I'm really appreciative of this opportunity. All the products I use will be linked in the description down below. And if you have ever watched Attack on Titan before, leave a like down below. And comment down below any other ideas if we ever collaborate again. And if you like keyboard content, you can go ahead and subscribe because I only make keyboard content. Yeah. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.
Peace.